Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add fake snowfall to your photos right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So once you've got Photoshop open and you have a photo launched, we're ready to begin. And in order to start this process, we want to begin by creating a brand new layer. So we'll go up to layer, new layer. We'll press OK, or we can rename this layer. We're going to turn off the background layer. So we're going to select the unlock icon, and then we're going to turn this off by pressing the eyeball. We're going to go over to the paint bucket tool on the left. Make sure the color picker is selected to black. And then we're going to select the snow layer. So that was our new layer that we just created. And we'll just press the canvas to turn this black. Now from here, we'll select the paintbrush tool and we'll change the size down to around 19. We'll pull the hardness down to zero. Of course, you can increase the size if you want to as well. Let's go up to around 100 for the first set of snowflakes. We'll change the color of this from black to white. And then we're just gonna draw a load of white dots all over the canvas. Then we'll go ahead and change the size of this down to around 30 pixels. And again, we'll cover the canvas in loads of little tiny dots. We can decrease the size again to, let's say around 19, 20 pixels. Go even smaller, let's go 10 pixels. We're just gonna create loads of little tiny dots all over this black layer. Now, once you've added in loads of these tiny little white dots, we can go ahead and add some blur to this layer. So we'll go up into filter, we'll go down to blur, select motion blur. Now, as you can see, that's added some direction of motion blur to our snowflakes. Of course, we can change the angle of this and we can increase the distance of that blur. I'm going to select the angle to around 50% and the distance to roughly 200. We'll press OK on this, turn the original background layer on. And then with the snow layer, so that's the layer that we created, with that one selected, we'll go into normal. So this is the blend mode and we'll change this from normal to lighten. And as you can see, those snowflakes have appeared on top of our photo. Of course, though, if there's not enough snowflakes added, then all you need to do is go back over to the brush and just start going crazy. Just create as many dots as you want. And make sure every time you've added a bunch of dots, make sure to apply the motion blur back onto the footage layer. And there you go. It's actually really simple, but it's a very convincing and really easy way of adding snowflakes to your photos right inside of Adobe Photoshop. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to subscribe to see more. Click this box if you want to see the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.